Okay, so this is the dog coming to you with what you might call a dog primer. It's like a, a lesson for people who don't understand so well. But maybe you do understand. I'm a dog, so I barely understand it, and I just figured it out. I probably have it wrong, but, you know, to you it might be mundane. To me it seems like it's a startling fact. But if you want to discuss the man, and of course I don't mean the man, my master the man, that oxygen deprivation inheritor who owns this manor state um, and among which his largesse sustains me and I get my shot at living in this manor house, this gorgeous house. I feel like such a lucky dog. But what we're discussing is the man because it suddenly occurs to me. So you take a look at three people and the only reason it came to me that they're trying to, they're trying to like synchrosanct or sancrosanct, they're sancrosanct or something, they're synchronizing. Cayenne West asked Donald Trump to join Parler and the other thing or the get together, uh, the true social. And then Cayenne West, I mean, um, uh, Kyrie, he's not really involved with this, but Kyrie seems to be taking it the worst. So Kyrie and Cayenne were, uh, what do you say, uh, anti Semitic. They're against the Jews. So. Cayenne seems to be much, much worse against the Jews. Kyrie's hung up on this thing that in the past some Jews probably did, you know, take advantage of some blacks, but they weren't the only ones. I never heard that it was the Jews primarily taking advantage of the blacks. If you look back in recent history at some of those people like George Wallace from Georgia and uh, some of these other characters, you know, they weren't Jewish. And they were the ones doing the worst of the worst. So... The guy who shot Martin Luther King, for instance, he was not Jewish. And no one, you know, could tie... But anyways, it doesn't matter. So I think Kyrie's, like, off base. He thinks it's a historical thing. There is, but there isn't. There, I don't want to say there isn't, get, you know, kill myself. But, you know, there, everybody was ganging up on the blacks. Everybody, including the blacks, were ganging up on blacks. So it's not like you could just single out one and say they're the most responsible. But it's a naive little thing for the 30-year-old... And he might be a very, very anti-Semitic, mean, nasty person who could kill people. I don't know, but it doesn't strike me that way. Kanye, on the, on, the, on the other hand, he posts all this kind of crazy crap. He's going to DEFCON for. He's got to do this. He's got to do that. He's wearing White Lives Matters t-shirts, and that's okay, but he's just trying to stir it up. He's trying to make troubles. And when the two of them get destroyed, of course, Kanye loses more, but he still has a big old, you know, he's probably has half a million dollars, a quarter of a billion dollars. I mean... He has a half a million dollars rolling around loose in his pocket. I'm not saying Kyrie, but Kyrie's like, they're saying, Kyrie, you may never come back. It's like Kyrie, whew, you know. But Kanye, heck, five years from now, he'll be a billionaire again. So where, you know, the man is like, he's crushing, he's crushing. I don't know if, you know. But then when you look at Donald Trump, and the only reason it came to my mind is because Kanye and Donald were thinking about joining each other's uh, radical right uh, social networks. Donald, he said all kinds of stuff about women. He's going to grab me. He's going to grab this, that, the other thing. He said a lot of the good people, a lot of people are good where they're marching with the KKK and the Nazi flags. There's a lot more good in there, he said. That, that's okay. He's, nothing even happens to him. He tries the insurrection. He tries to go ahead and overthrow our government. And still, I don't even see a scratch on him. You know, that's the manpower. You know, if you're white, you can do all the things that Kanye... And Kyrie did rolled into one times a million, and you're still standing there like you're like, you're like you're brushing the dander off your lapel. You're like, what? What? What is the matter over here? Come on, tell me out. What's going? What's wrong? These two guys are getting crushed out. Like, you know, one's getting crushed worse than the other. It seems like the one that's the most least guilty or the most the least hateful. Uh, or it, it's, as a dog, it, it's kind of just espouses me that way. It seems that way that Kyrie. It's not very, you know, he's a sweet guy, you know. He's just a little bit anti-Semitic, and he's got to figure it out. Kanye, again, he's like this tortured artist. He doesn't even seem that bad. He's got it bad. He's got the anti-Semitic bug bag. But I think you could talk him out of it if, if, if he, in paradise, Kanye is not going to be anti-Semitic. Donald, on the other hand, Donald's going to be in purgatory. But yet up here walking around, he just doesn't have a scratch on him. He's okay. Donald, these other two are going to make the paradise, probably, you know. 
Donald's going to have to spend a little time in purgatory before he gets to paradise. But, you know, but the, in, this, in this culture, in our situation, the man, the man, the controlling, you know, Kabbalist, sinister power that controls everything and really preserves, you know, that white authority throughout the earth, that the man, he, 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 you know, check it out. I mean, that just proves it because Donald, what, what are you going to do? Donald, he, he does it all and he doesn't have a, he's not, he's not losing a single hair.